Minimum wage has been a hot topic lately as provincial governments like Ontario and Alberta have made dramatic increases to their rates. With Bill 148, Ontario's rate rose to $14 per hour and it was slated to rise again to $15 on January 1st, 2019. But the new PC government recently announced that it would freeze the rate at $14 per hour. What does this kind of legislative change mean for HR departments and payroll departments? How will it affect administration? We spoke with Stephen Van Alstyne, Vice President of Education at the Canadian Payroll Association, to learn more. The minimum wage was prior, it was $11.35, so it's quite a considerable jump. So I think part of the reason why the new government came in and repealed that component of the legislation or announced that most recently was just because of the impact that they felt that it had had on business, uh, labour costs, and that's why the current government decided to freeze the subsequent increase because they were tying some of the job losses that we've been experiencing here in Ontario to that significant jump. From a, a procedural perspective or an administrative perspective, this is probably one of the more straightforward changes that would have to be made. Now there's administration involved with any change, but I think f when you look at outside, it's the administration of when you make a change to minimum wage. When you're looking at the fact that the increase from 11.35 to 14 dollars is a significant increase in labor cost so that did have an impact on a lot of organizations particularly those in the retail sector that tend to pay around the minimum wage there's various minimum wages right across the country with Atlantic Canada being more in the $11 range and a couple of the prairie provinces being sort of at that level as well. Um, British Columbia and uh, Alberta have plans to or have planned or have done increases to their minimum wage. Now uh, British Columbia's is not proposed to go up to $15 an hour until 2021. Um, so it's a little further out. Uh, Alberta is proposing to have theirs changed to $15 more immediately. Change is inevitable, but I think it's being um, attuned to those changes, being aware of those changes, and having a plan. Some systems are sophisticated enough that you can put those changes in ahead of time and have them uh, effective on a particular date. If that's not the case, then you have to be able to, to determine what kind of time is involved, how, what magnitude of employees are involved, how do you go in and, and effectively make that change in a timely enough fashion so that it can be done effective with the change. And one of the biggest things I was hearing, particularly within the bookkeeping community where they're dealing with lots of lot smaller employers, was you know this particular legislative change, the, in, the, the dramatic increase in the cost uh, of an increase to minimum wage and some of the other requirements like the statutory holiday changes was for example increasing um, the benefits that in individuals were receiving in terms of statutory holiday pay uh, and what that was doing to their bottom line. But beyond that again there's lots of administration that's involved in this. For Canadian HR Reporter, I'm Alexia Kapralos.